Can you explain neurofatigue and what exactly is happening in the brain when things get confusing or slowed down in the brain? So this question right here is interesting. We just kind of covered a little bit about this in the webinar. We don't understand neurofatigue 100%, but one of the leading theories right now is regarding a, um, uh, there's multiple networks in the brain. So certain things inside your brain when you're, when you're concerned with um, you know, performing a task. If you have a task at hand, that's done by a network inside your brain called the executive network. And when you're just kind of daydreaming, not really doing much, um, the dominant network in your brain uh, is called the default mode network. And so what usually happens in a normal person's brain is that the default mode network is activated most of the time when you're just kind of going about your day. But when you have a task at hand, if you're going to do uh, a math test or if you had to do something specifically, you would default over or so you'd switch over to the executive network. So moving between those two networks is what you need uh, to be able to do in order to have cognitive thought processing and in order to minimize the amount of activity in your brain. When we look at people that have high stress, when we look at people that have anxiety, and when we look at people that have concussion or persistent concussion symptoms, what we find when we put them into fMRI scanners is that both default mode network and executive network are activated at the same time. So what this does is a few things. One, it creates a more difficult situation in when you're trying to perform a task, your default mode network is taking over. So you're not able to um, move between the networks necessarily. You have both activated at the same time. So this becomes confusing uh, for the individual and they can't concentrate appropriately. But also what it does is because you're activating more areas of your brain, you're actually burning more energy and you become more fatigued as a result.